Scoro tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video on how to use Scoro. Scoro is an all in one business management software designed for small and medium sized businesses. It helps you manage your projects, tasks, contacts, finances, and more all in one place. With Scoro, you can streamline your processes and have a clear overview of your business operations making it easier to make informed decisions and stay on top of things. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the basics of Scoro. We will show you how to create an account, provide an overview of the dashboard, demonstrate how to add a contact, and explain how to send emails in Scoro. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Scoro, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, you will notice a try for free button at the top right corner. Clicking this button will open a pop-up window presenting you with two options to sign up. You can either sign up using your work email or choose to continue with your Google account. Opt for the one that best aligns with your needs. After selecting your sign up method, you'll proceed to set up your account. Here, you'll be required to enter the name of your company and your phone number. After providing this information, click on the Continue button. The next phase involves personalizing your account. During this step, you'll provide more detailed information about your company and your role. After you've completed the personalization process, Scoro will take some time to set up your account. While this process may take a little while, it is crucial to ensure that your Scoro account is accurately tailored to your business needs. Once your account is set up, you will be directed to the dashboard. The Scoro dashboard, serving as the core of the platform, offers a plethora of features designed to simplify your business management. At the top of the dashboard, you'll notice a menu with several main tabs, each serving a distinct purpose. The Projects tab is dedicated to project management, where you can create, oversee, and track the progress of your ongoing projects. Here, you can assign tasks, set deadlines, and monitor the workflow to ensure everything runs smoothly. The Pipeline tab helps you manage your sales and client relationships. It provides a visual interface for tracking deals and prospects from initial contact through to closing the deal. The Tasks tab is where you can create and delegate tasks, set deadlines, and monitor progress. It's your go-to place for day-to-day -day operations, helping to keep your team on track and ensuring nothing falls through the cracks. The Planner tab provides a graphical overview of all planned tasks, appointments, and deadlines for yourself or your team, helping you manage your time more efficiently and avoid scheduling conflicts. The Calendar tab is a centralized location for all your appointments and important dates. It syncs with your other calendars, ensuring you never miss a meeting or deadline. The Reports tab gives you access to data-driven insights, generating detailed reports on various aspects of your business from sales performance to task completion rates, helping you make informed decisions. Under the Contacts tab, you can manage all your business contacts from customers and vendors to employees and partners. This feature makes it easy to store and retrieve contact information, track communication history, and manage relationships. The Quotes tab is where you can handle all aspects of quotations, creation, sending, tracking, and conversion into invoices. It's an efficient tool for managing your sales quotes and negotiating deals. Besides these main tabs, there's an icon with three dots. Hovering over this icon reveals additional tabs, like Invoices, Import-Export, Purchases, and Menu Settings. On the right side of the top menu, you'll find additional features, including time tracking, bookmarks, notifications, quick actions, a search bar, and a profile section. These provide quick access to essential functions and personal settings, allowing you to customize Scoro to your specific needs. Now, let's see how to add a contact in Scoro. Adding a contact in Scoro is a crucial action for maintaining your communication network and keeping track of people essential to your business. This can include employees, clients, partners, or vendors. Let's delve into how to add a contact in Scoro. There are two options for adding a contact in Scoro. The first one is by navigating to the top right side of the Scoro dashboard. Here you'll find a plus button. Upon clicking this button, a drop-down menu appears where you'll choose the New Person option. After selecting this, you're directed to the page where you can start providing the required information for the new contact. 
The second way involves using the Contacts tab located in the top menu. Upon clicking the Contacts tab, you'll land on the Contacts page, where you can view any contacts you may already have. To add a new contact, locate the Plus New button at the top left side of the page. Clicking this button opens a drop-down menu with two options, New Company and New Person. As we are focusing on adding a contact, click on the New Person option. Whether you choose the first or the second option, you'll be led to the Contacts form page. Here, provide the new contact's personal and contact information, including their first and last name, mobile number, email, and Skype details, as well as their address details. You'll also need to choose their category and job title and provide a brief description about them. Further down, you'll have fields for additional information like ID code, gender, birthday, picture, bank account, client profile, reminder profile, time zone, and task bundle. This additional information is not mandatory, but it can be handy for further personalized communication or for better organization. Once you have filled out all the required details, remember to click on the Save button at the bottom of the page to save the contact. With the contact saved, you can now easily reach out to them, schedule meetings, assign tasks, or simply keep track of your communication with them. Keep in mind that all this information can be edited later if the need arises. Next, let's see how to send emails in Scoro. Learning how to send emails in Scoro is a fundamental part of utilizing the platform to its full potential especially after you've added contacts. The ability to send emails directly through Scoro allows you to streamline your communication process, keeping all interactions in one central place and simplifying tracking and follow-up. To send an email in Scoro, you'll start by navigating to the top right side of the Scoro dashboard, where you'll find the plus button. Clicking this button reveals a drop-down menu with several different options. Look for and select the New Email option, this will open a new window on your screen dedicated to composing your email. In this new window, you'll see several fields. You'll start by filling in the To field with the email address of your recipient. Next, you'll draft your email subject in the Subject field. This should be a concise summary of your email content. Then you can proceed to write the main body of your email. If you have any files to attach, you can do so by clicking on Upload and then Choose File on the right side of the screen. This enables you to navigate your files and select the appropriate attachment. During the drafting process, you have the option to save your email as a draft. This feature comes in handy if you don't wish to send the email immediately, or if you need to revisit and revise your content before sending. When you're satisfied with your email, click on Send to transmit your message. Remember, Scoro keeps a record of all sent emails, making it easy to review your communication history with each contact. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Scoro. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching, and